Very good, friends. Hi, Doc South here. Uh, yet another, uh, well, another blurb for you. Yeah. Uh, this one from, uh, well, my first book, the book of Doc blurps the starters, the starter set. And uh, this again, uh, basically the stories in this book are all, well, like just little observations of life aimed at being positive and, and you know, happy little things for the most part. And uh, I know, yeah, I'm just kind of getting myself squared away here in my uh, writing chair. Yeah, my fancy writing chair. Actually, it's a folding chair. It's nothing. And frankly, it kind of, you sit here long enough, yeah, and you start getting blisters. Yeah, it's not, yeah. It, it, it ain't the, I don't think Mark Twain had something that, yeah, quite like this, bless his heart. Boy, he, there was a good writer. Oh my gosh, that guy was something. Woo! Uh, okay, well, anyway, this one, Chef and Roxy eating bacon. Uh, I'll explain. Right. Okay. Well, okay. Well, oh, and I'm, I'm kind of sending this out to uh, Beth, uh, listener Beth. Uh, uh, her, one of her Basset hounds uh, passed away, I think, yesterday or the day before. And, boy, I know how that feels. Oh, uh, so uh, this is just a happy tale of a, of a basset hound we had, uh, Sandy and I had before Millie, uh, which many of you may remember. Uh, was uh, that hound's name was uh, Roxy, and uh, she was a well, she was a sweetheart too. She could be a little cantankerous at times, but for the most part, she was a sweetie as well. Okay. Anyway, so here we go. Chef and Roxy eating bacon. And, oh, and by the way, yeah, Roxy was quite the girl about town. Yeah, she she went uh, more, I'd say more than Millie. She uh, she traveled uh, through Hackettstown and Long Valley quite a bit. Yeah, <laughs> she, she was a, yeah, anyway. Uh, okay, well, here we go. Uh, chef would sometimes uh, come by my dairy aisle at the A&P every now and then, and I was always happy to see him. He was just one of those people you, you just couldn't help but like. In a way, I, I hope he doesn't take a, I hope he doesn't take offense at this, but to see a chef coming by was like seeing a neighbor's dog coming over to your house, tail wagging for an afternoon uh, for an afternoon visit. If chef was a dog, his tail would always be on the move, always. Like the neighbor's dog, he was never angry. Chef, uh, chef helped out a lot uh, uh, as part of the uh, uh, American Legion kitchen crew here in Hackettstown. Oh, he'd be, conco you might find him concocting a meatloaf, brewing coffee, doing dishes. It was all the same to him. Each and any uh, chore brought a smile to his face. It actually did. He wasn't a veteran, but he loved helping the Legion in any way he could. Uh, he loved my radio shows and Doug talking about them. Uh, I think his favorite thing as far as my show was concerned was uh, when I involved my basset hound Roxy in the show. Chef especially liked it when I brought uh, Roxy to the Legion breakfast, Sunday morning breakfast. Yeah, Roxy liked it too. Uh, Chef would learn that she was in the van out in the parking lot, and immediately he'd, uh, he'd gather up bacon, sausage, eggs, pancakes, get my keys, and take them out to his uh, friend in the parking lot. And uh, Roxy loved Chef, and well, Chef loved her. <laughs> She'd do every trick she knew and then some to get those goodies. Yes, she did. Well, you know, Roxy passed away at 17 years old, and not that many people knew about it. Uh, Chef came, well, I was off the radio at that point, yeah, and so not, not too many folks knew. Uh, Chef came down my aisle uh, at the Acme, I'm sorry, at the A&P, oh, a few months after her passing. I think he'd been in Florida. He asked about Roxy, and, well, I had to tell him that she was gone. Uh, he took it okay, saying that, well... She sure had, you know, he was always optimistic. He said, uh, well, he, he took it okay saying that, well, she sure had a good time while she was here. Uh, I told him how Sandy and I were planning to, get a, planning to get a new hound as soon as it felt right. He thought that would be a great idea. I, I don't think he ever met Millie, our new hound, but he would have loved her. Uh, Might have liked her even more than Roxy, if that were possible, Yes. Uh, chef died just the other day. I feel honored and thankful to have known him. I'm certain he's doing fine now, uh, topside. Uh, I, I like to think that maybe uh, Roxy has uh, sniffed him out up there and 
was uh, in the welcoming party when, when he got home. Uh, with her tail wagging, maybe she can tell them where, uh, where they keep the bacon and sausages. <laughs> and then they'll go make a raid. Well, God bless them both. Yeah, both really neat people. Yeah, Chef was uh, one of those guys, always smiling. Yeah, and, and you know, always smiling, and you never really wondered what he was up to. <laughs> he, was, he was smiling because he was up to something good. That's what the, honestly, that was the cool thing about him. Yeah, you know, some people smile because they're getting ready to pull a trick on you or something. I don't recall Chef doing that. No, he'd just be smiling because you walked in the room. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying. Anyway, neat guy. And uh, well, so there you go. And so uh, uh, maybe Chef's hunting down the uh, well, the other basset hound that passed away just the other day uh, in uh, among my friends. So uh, that's that would be good. He he'll take good care of them till the till everyone else gets up there. Yeah, he's a good guy. Okay, uh, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoy. Okay, well, maybe I'll try to knock out another uh, video for you in a little bit. Okay, we'll see you later. Thank you now, and God bless.